I'm back. Back to talking about the government a minute. If the government lines up with God's word, I'm all for it. If it don't, I'm not for it. You can't have, no man can serve two masters. You'll cling to one and despise the other. No man can serve two masters. I can't, I can't have the government be my master. And then God Almighty God be my master. You've got to pick and choose. It's got to be one or the other. Listen to this verse in Isaiah chapter 9. And verse 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. It's talking about Jesus right there. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. His name will be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end. Now did you hear me? Of the increase of the government of Jesus Christ. Now the government of Jesus Christ does not allow abortion, glory to God. It don't allow it. Thou shalt not shed innocent blood. But man's government, the United States government, says it's okay to murder babies. It's okay to fund it with taxpayer dollars. Well, no, it ain't in God's eyes. No, it's not. Then if somebody protests and shows a, an aborted baby on a picture, they get run off the sidewalk. But yet they do a homosexual parade in California and do all manner of filthy abominations like Sodom and Gomorrah did. But yes, yeah, surely they got their day coming. I guarantee you. Hey, 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 glory to God. That don't lie. This word don't lie whether you like it or not. It's going to come to pass. And there's coming a day. If you don't repent, everybody that funds and agrees and votes for abortion and supports the doctor, glory to God, and supports the politician. And the politician that votes for the abortion, I'm telling you that you're going to go to hell if you don't repent of it and change your ways and get saved, glory to God. You going to hell. You ain't going to pass go. You ain't going to collect no get out of jail free card or get out of hell free card. You going to burn forever and a day. Now you may not like it, but it's what God said. And if God be for me, who can stand against me? Glory to God. I can't get off this abortion deal. I can't get it out of my mind. I can't get it out of my heart because God won't let me. There's a burning. It's like Jeremiah said, you that know the word of God is shut up in my bones. I've got to get it out. It's like a fire shut up in my bones. It's amazing to me how these tornadoes will tear up these people's houses and all. Hurricanes will destroy homes. Jesus said these things would come. But I just hope and pray that I'm around to see the destruction of the murderous abortionist doctors. Because God's going to destroy them. God's going to remove them from the face of this earth. He said, I'm going to make man more scarce than the gold of Ophar. Word of God says. There ain't going to be many left, y'all. ain't going to be many left. They sure ain't because God's told me. Yes, I talk to God and God talks to me. And I got something prophetic to tell you. God, Almighty God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, He who sits above the circle of the earth, He who does not sleep nor slumber, it is He that talks to His children, just like I talk to my children when I sit down at the table with them. God talks to His children, and I'm one of His children, and God's going to deal with you. Do you hear me? God is going to deal with America in general and God is going to deal with individuals that are killing babies that are destroying human life you have no right to take the life of a baby you have no right it ain't a fetus it's a child did you hear me the Bible says the lie of the flesh is in the blood and once that sperm and once that egg come together and it's able to bleed, it becomes a child. Do you understand me? According to God's word, I could care less what some stinking scientist or doctor says. 
of when life starts. I believe what God's Word says about life. And Jesus said He'd come that we could have life and have it abundantly. Jesus also told His own disciples. He said, Suffer the little children to come unto Me, for such are the kingdom of heaven. He also said, Unless you be converted and become His little children, you will by no way inherit the kingdom of heaven. Little children are able to be taught. And grown-ups had better learn to be taught the Word of God. Not some joke, not some story about something from the pulpit, but the Word of God. Glory to God. The very reason I can't get many pulpits is because I want to tell the truth. That's the very reason. Peter and Paul was hated. John couldn't even come to the synagogue. Let me talk about that in a minute. John couldn't even come to the synagogue. He was in the wilderness preaching. Repent. Repent. He didn't go to the synagogue. Nowhere in your Bible, preacher, is it recorded that he went to the synagogue. John didn't go there and preach. Glory to God. He ate locusts and wild honey and wore camel's hair. He wasn't welcome in the synagogue. They didn't want to know the truth. He was the forerunner of the Messiah, Jesus Christ, and they, they did not want him in the synagogue. Because you know what? He told it like it is, brother. He didn't sugarcoat it. He didn't give them a bottle with a nipple on it and pat them on the back when they got ready to be burnt. And he didn't change their diapers or give them pacifiers like the preachers do today. He told it like it was. And any preacher with a backbone better do it and better not worry about the money. If you tell the truth and you tell God's word and what God's told you to do, God's going to take care of you. You're too dependent on the world system, man. You better wake up and smell the coffee, brother. Wake up and smell it. They want separation of church and state? Well, glory to God. I belong to the church, not the state. I don't belong to the world. Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. If it were, I would take it over now. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back to destroy. He's coming back to destroy every corrupt government. He's coming back to destroy every idol. He's coming back to destroy and cleanse this earth with fire, the Apostle Peter said. First time it was water, next time it's going to be fire. They laughed at Noah. He built that ark 120 years. Yeah, they laughed at him. But you know what? It flooded. And it swept them all away. And he's coming back again. Don't you go away. I'll be right back. Loving the Lord.